What's up, y'all? T from T Cut Me, and today I'm gonna give y'all like a really simplified version of the economy and how money works in America and why people struggle and others don't struggle financially anyway, right? So America works like this. You have talented people and you have skilled people. These people tend to get most of the money or they're the only people who really had the opportunity of changing class becoming wealthy after being poor or becoming even more wealthy. They're typically the only people with few exceptions, um, like people who inherit money and people who are just friends of rich people and just become rich because they got rich friends or whatever that case may be. We're not talking about these specific anomalies, right? So most people become wealthy or rich by having a talent or a skill. And what you do is you sell that. And then the other class of people are consumers only. Now, when you're consumer only, you typically will struggle financially throughout life. That that's just is what it is in America. The system, broken as it may be, it's easier to work with the system than to complain about the system. So if you're consumer only, this means all you do is spend money, spend, 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 spend. And the only income you come is I'm mean, the only income you receive is the income that you can put in for hours of work with your time. Now, people that's wealthy and people that's rich and people that have money realize at a certain point, you can't trade hours for dollars. You will never get rich that way, right? It's not enough hours in a day. So the people who get there, they realize you have to have some type of skill or some type of talent and you have to be able to sell that skill and or talent in your sleep or be able to build up uh, some type of business and be able to sell it overnight, become rich, or um, run it and keep the revenue or whatever the case may be. These people understand there's only certain ways to get there. That's investing, that's stock market, that's owning a business, that's real estate, that's not working a job. All th These people have one thing in common, they all realize that working a job is not it. Now you can work a job and do other things, right? But you can't work a job and be a consumer only. You have to sell something to the world. You have to bring some value to the world if you ever want to change your financial um, situation. If running a business not for you, learn to invest. Learn the stock market. There's an easy way you can sit on your butt and make money. I'm not more. I'm not too much into it. I like tangibles. Maybe I'll get into it later. But this is not really about me. There's ways to make money out here without you having to trade dollars for hours. Now, if you want to continue, because we all taught this as a young age. This is the system that we taught. We taught to become workers. So if you want to continue with that mindset, then you have to accept all the financial struggles that come with it and you can't complain about them. All right. You, it, that just is what it is. This is how it is out here. And it's easier to just work with the system than to try to change it. And actually, it is fair. It really is because everybody has the same opportunity in the business world anyway. Now, in the um, employee world, now it gets shifty. It gets sticky over there. But business people will tell you in this business world, you have the same opportunities. Go out there and get it. Now, um, like I said, if you want to stick with the um, employee route, that's fine. Don't complain. Just just don't. And don't complain about other people's money because they chose to take that route to go out and get it. All right. That's it. That's the last thing I really had to say. But that's simply how the economy works. All right. That's why you I'm not going to say you, but that's why people who just are consumers only have financial issues. And y'all, y'all do whatever is complaining.